What's going on guys? Today we're going to do a video unboxing these Fluval LED lights that I ordered on Amazon. Picked them up for like $98. Now currently on this tank I'm running uh, fluorescence from a build I did a couple years ago. They're well overdue for an upgrade. They're fluorescent lights I picked up from Menards or Home Depot. I spray painted them black. Tuck some tin foil behind the backs of them to reflect most of the light downward. They work great for me for a long time, but the salt creep's really starting to wear them out. So, here you can see the box for the Fluval Aqua Skies. They're Bluetooth compatible. Great set of lights. Now, you will see during this video that at the beginning of the video, I've got them set up on this 65 gallon aquarium that I've been running for some time. But during the middle of all this uh, videoing and going through all the lights and stuff, I got a deal on a different aquarium, so part of the way through the video, you're going to see them on a different aquarium as I run the tests and stuff. So you can see here they're uh, 36 to 48 adjustable, um, Bluetooth compatible, like I said, um, programmable 24-hour light cycle. Now, you will see in the video that I go through the different light cycles. They recently just did an update, so now you have an extra setting, so you can do uh, a sleep mode, sunrise, daylight, sunset. Nighttime for a little bit of night lighting for a short amount of time, and then it'll go back to the sleep mode where the lights actually turn off. Different weather patterns. You can select cloudy, sunny, partly cloudy. Go through different storms. Um, I'll show towards the end a clip of me going through some of the settings stuff, the settings that the remote has. The app was relatively easy to set up. I'll do a, a quick screen grab showing you guys some of the basics on it. So here are the contents. This is the light here. This Their new model has uh, the aluminum fins across the top these are to help disperse the heat away from the light so that it doesn't like radiate heat into your tank create a hot spot here um, simple instructions pull off the cardboard here and you can see it's got uh, these adjustable clips on them so you can that's how you adjust from the 36 to the 48 And here is the power adapter, which does come apart. It's got a small plug that attaches to the light separately. Flip it over here, we can see the LEDs. They're full spectrum and adjustable, so you can see different ranges of blues, reds, whites. Uh, here they are on that 65, or here's the my fluorescence on the 65, so we'll see it before. And then in a little bit, we're going to see after. Now, they did say 48 adjustable, but that did not apparently account for the plastic lip around the top of the tank it's exactly 48 not 48 and a half so it'll it clips here on one side and then as i go across here where it's by my hang on the back protein skimmer they're just a half inch short so not a huge deal for me because i have the center bar across this tank but for whatever reason if i decide it's not going to light up the tank well enough um i may consider sending them back now you will see later in the video on the newer tank that i have they work perfectly i think i'm going to move them to my predator tank and order a full uh, spectrum reef set that fluval does instead of these but they do turn out to be great lights here now here's that plug i was talking about on the the adapter Pretty simple. I'm going to try and plug it in one hand here and not be so successful. So here's the 65 gallon with the Fluval lights turned on. Now, I, at this point, I haven't had a chance to get into the app and adjust them, so this is just the default brightness. And uh, the camera really doesn't do them justice. It kind of makes everything look washed out and bright in some areas and not in others but once i get through and adjust them it really looks great all right so i've got the app pulled up here this will be basically what you see when you download the app after you've selected your language and stuff tap this little plus sign and it's going to scan for the available lights now when they come up they'll say some kind of combination of letters and numbers identifying them and you can go in and change the names later on i will show you guys how to do that so I run the marine and reef lights on my sump, and then these octus guys currently on my main display tank. On the new tank, not on the 65 that you've seen in the video. I'll show you guys that both of those in a little bit. So I'm going to select the 36 to 48. That turns green. You get the blinking red arrow. Tap that, and then now they've been added. I'm going to go ahead and add the other one since we're here. And then you tap on the lights here, and it's going to open up the menu. Now here's my auto settings. I've already got this all set up. Fluval just did an update recently that allows you to set, previously it didn't have the sleep mode, so you'd be able to set the sunrise, daylight, sunset, and nighttime. And I, I did enjoy that, but 
my complaint was that at nighttime it would go down to the five percent blue light which was nice before we went to bed and stuff but i would prefer there be no lights on throughout the night so now that they've added the sleep uh, at 10 30 we lose the blue lights and then it's just dark in the aquarium until the sun starts to rise at 8 a.m so here's the auto screen you can go through and select dynamic effects uh enabling it selecting a time day of the week and then if you want uh thunderstorms partly sunny storming partly cloudy different brightness for moonlighting and stuff i don't have any of these set up the thunderstorm is a really cool feature to show people but it seems to me like it would unnecessarily stress out the fish and it does look pretty cool but not as realistic as i'd hoped it's more of just blue and white light flashing i will uh load the controller on a different device and show you guys a video of it storming here towards the end of the video but it's neat but i'm not super impressed but if you go over to manual here you'll get your whole remote where you can go through and adjust things individually set if you want the tank to be all one color or, uh, if you want to show people the thunderstorm or different settings live you can just tap on any of these buttons here at the bottom and stuff and then these pro settings you can set up they're like presets that fluval has for you now when you're in here adjusting your autos let me get out of this dynamic effect here you can go through and select when you want your sunrise and sunset save that it'll update save successful and then you can select this preview and here on the app you're going to see the green line pass through it'll take the whole 24 hour period and break it down into one minute so you can kind of get an idea of what the tank's going to look at like throughout the day that'll cycle all the way through and i will do this again with my camera pointed on the tank here shortly so that you can actually watch the timer go through so let's stop that that's all set and then i just a little bit of info i currently just have my sump uh light turned on it's in manual it runs with everything at 100% all the time because I'm trying to get my refugium to take off. So now I will flip over to my other device, show you guys the new aquarium with the setup. I do like the lights a lot better on the new aquarium, and uh, we'll check that out. So let's look at how to change the names on the lights here. Um, when they come out of the package, they'll have their identification number that Fluval has preset for them. Now you can just tap on the light. It's going to connect. And then up here, you get those three dots. You'll see find. The find feature is cool. Tap the find feature in whichever light it is in case you have the names mixed up or whatever. We'll start to flash to identify it. And then you have rename. And then you can set a password to keep other people from logging in if they just download the app, finding your lights and messing with them. I don't imagine you would have a lot of issues with that at home, but maybe if you were at uh, some kind of public display or at a fish store, you don't want people messing with your settings on it. So we'll click rename here. Then here is the rename. I have this set up right now. It's the 36 to 48 fish only light. Save. And then it will be all set. You can go through and do each one individually like that. Same thing. Rename. Save. Okay. Here's the new aquarium that I was talking about. Previously, you guys saw a 65 gallon that I had. I've moved that into one of the bedrooms to become a predator tank. So hopefully here soon. This is a Deep Blue Edge 57 that I picked up from a buddy. Got a pretty good deal on it, built this stand. It's a 36 by 18 and a half, which I had a difficult time finding a stand. That's why I ended up building one. Some people suggested that I uh, pick up a 40 breeder stand, but I was worried about the weight and the quality. So I just took the time and built my own stand. You'll see in a different video, I'll go through everything that this tank has, what the plans are with the Predator tank and that room and stuff. But right now, I'm going to go through some of the controls here real quick. This is the screen I have on the other device. If it'll focus, I'm going to go ahead and click the preview. You guys can see the setup over the 24 hour period broken down into one minute. So this is during the sleep setting and then the sun is going to begin to rise here. It gets brighter, brighter. And then middle of the day, probably stressing the fish out, lights doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And here is the sun beginning to set. You can see it slowly get darker. That's our moonlighting, 5% blue light. And then we get sleep mode throughout the night. Now, let me take 
back here on the app here, go to manual. And I will show you guys the thunderstorm setting that, like I said, it's a neat trick, but I don't, I wouldn't set it up all the time. So press it, it gets dark, get some flashes of lightning. It does seem to be random, not, uh, not a set pattern or whatever, but and it'll go through a handful of times, but let me switch back to auto here. So you saw in the 65, cause it was 48 inches wide, I had issues with the clips. Now I've got it here. This tank's only 36, so it fits nicely. Similar setup here, clip there. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the, with the lights. I think they are gonna go back onto the Predator tank once it's set up, I'm gonna order the Fluval Marine and Reef lights, just because I think it'll be a little bit better of a setup because I'm gonna finally put corals in this main display tank, but for right now, they're working great. Now, because I told you guys I would, I'll show you the lights that I just have sitting on top of my sump. Like I said, the other video, I'm gonna break down a little bit more of what I got going on with this tank, but those are on and they run all the time and you can kind of see a little bit of um, my Chato in there in the center there with our future in the heaters are so I'm back here appreciate you guys tuning in checking out the review on the fluva lights i'm a fan for the price they seem bright enough love the ability to set them from my phone very happy with them tune in check out we got a couple of other videos up now i'm going to go over this tank the old aquarium i've got a, t or a video from a few years ago where i did some real basics if you want to do like a fish only with live rock tank some pointers. Thanks for watching.